All's my life I has to fight, nigga. All's my life I hard times like yeah, bad trips like yeah. Nazareth, I'm fucked up, homie. You fucked up, but if God got us, then we go be alright. Right, nigga, we right. gon' be alright. Nigga, we gon' be alright. We gon' be alright. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? We gon' be alright. This is a review of the game Skullgirls. This is going to be my first review with actual footage, as you can see. This is how my reviews are going to go down. I will address first the story, the presentation, the gameplay, my what I hated, and then my final version of the game. It's similar to the Black Okage reviews, but hey, that's just how I do stuff. Let's get started with that story. The story of Skullgirls is, um, huh. The story centers around, uh, huh, okay, this is, <laughs> I mean, okay, this is, this is really Destiny levels of having no story, or Titanfall levels of having no story, but, uh, I don't know, it, it's, okay, if I can summarize this story, it's like, alternate continuity, like, Street Fighter, whatever you, whoever you complete the story with, will get the ending with. It'll be alternate continuities, and you control who you play with and what ending you get. But the center will center around ah, one take is all I'm doing. What's centered around this whole thing is the skull heart, which is an artifact that's when found can grant any wishes, but it will turn that very girl into a skull girl. The story is just really there, but nobody really cares about this fucking story in the fighting games. So let's move on to the presentation. Okay, right off the bat, this game was breast. Wow, that that's that's just wow. Look at those things. This is, that's unbelievable, and they're so well animated too. Why can't they be so big like that? Shoot, Kaylin could be in this game. In fact. are done hand drawn. And you like your I like your video. Yeah. I keep messing up. G G C yeah, yeah, yeah. One take, one take. That's all I'm doing. If you like to see the process of this whole game, you can click down in the description for the creator of the game and how they really get this stuff done. It's pretty nice. But yes, it's frame and hand drawn and I need to feel well time consuming that much be. But yes, in the graphics wonderful because the game runs out of even on my laptop, with my weak, weak, laptop. Don't, don't worry about that. We'll see your time in the game. And I get my time. Anybody got a thousand bucks for me? Should I make a Patreon? Anyway. So yeah, this game looks nice. It's animated nicely. And the graphics are really good. One thing to note is that this game is on PS4. Soon to be PS4 anyway. It's on PC, PS3, and Xbox 360. I don't know if it's going to be PS3 and Xbox One port or not. Or it is already, so don't quote me on that. Whatever you do, whatever you do, do not get the 360 version. Why? The low time! Oh my god. These are the longest low times I have ever seen in my life. And what happens 
Let's move on to the gameplay. The gameplay of Skullgirls is this. It's your average 2D fighting game. You have characters, well, nine of them. You have nine characters here, and you have, well, four characters for DLC. And the four DLC characters include Big Dan, Eliza, Fuqua, and Beowulf. They're really cheap, bite at all ninety nine, so except for Beowulf because he's completely free. But like I said, they're really cheap and not really hurting anything in your wallet. This is an average two D fight game, like I said before. You have your punches, your kicks, your special moves, everything. However, there is one thing that this game brings me to the table, and that's infinite combos. Holy crap, infinite combos! Infinite combos are that you can unlock. You can unlock, unlock. What is unlock? You can unleash an unbearable, un. Bearable combo. Oh my god, it's just so powerful. I mean, most people use it when online. I even use it too, as you can see, because I'm a big boss. But wow, you can even counteract the infinite combo, as it's called, by using the infinite blocker. But they just keep on coming, especially cheaters like Cerebello or Misfortune. They just really hammer the whole infinite combo thing in. But before, before I really Pull my hair out, let me move on. This game really brings nothing new to the table. It's just, like I said, your standard 2D fighting game with special moves, 9 characters, plus 4 for DLC, and everything. However, however, that's not really something to be discouraged about. Though this game brings nothing to the table, it's really nothing to not disregard. Now, what you should be taking heed is what I hated. Other than a non-fleshed out stories and everything else, which I really didn't bring up because who cares, this game is just bare bones as you did everything. Once you unlock everything like concept art, and I'm a real sucker for concept art in ga video games. Most people don't care about this stuff, but if you're an artist, you really do. Look at this stuff, it's beautiful. It's a tear to my eye. But this game doesn't really bring anything new to the table. It's bare bones, the story is hollow, and the characters are either non-fleshed out or depressing themselves in the ending leaves a lot to be desired i don't know if it's going to be a sequel or it's going to be another update but this game needs a lot more to be considered you know the greatest game alive as a lot of people in the forums keep saying this but though between you and me i think it's because of the rest so my final version of this game this is a good game i mean like I said, it brings really nothing new to the table, but it's a nice, well-animated, well-thought-out fighting game. I uh, look at the characters too, and this thing will really, this thing will give you a lot of things to be proud of. What does that even mean? This game will give you a lot to be playing for, and this is something you will enjoy. I clocked about 35 hours to this game. That's what I love about it so much. I even played this game for three hours straight from getting the footage for the first podcast. Wow, it's been. Wow, it's been a couple months since I played Pocket. How far have you gone? Anyway, Skullgirls, in my eyes, gets a 7 out of 10. Not really a perfect score, probably like a C, but just because it brings nothing new to the table. Like I said over and over again, I'm with the big guy, and I'm Ghost and Stay Sexy. I think you're looking for a lab rat. <laughs>